Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. The Yom Tov of Pesach is coming up soon, the time when we celebrate Hashem taking the Yidin out of Mitzrayim. At the Pesach Seder, we drink four cups of wine. To get ready for this special mitzvah, we are going to have some fun by doing an overflowing Kiddush cup experiment. Please note that this experiment contains chametz and is not meant to be done during Pesach. Here are the supplies we will need. Two measuring beakers, or one regular cup and one measuring beaker, a tablespoon measure, burgundy food coloring, yeast, water, one empty 16-ounce bottle, such as a water bottle, dish soap, hydrogen peroxide, and scissors. Let's get started. Begin by cutting off the label from the bottle. This will allow us to fully see what's going on in the bottle. At the Pesach Seder, we drink four cups of wine, which is one of the ways we express gratitude to Hashem for the great miracles He performed. From this, we can learn to show thanks in all areas of our lives. Next, measure two teaspoons of yeast into one of the cups. If you're using a regular cup, measure into that. If you're using a measuring beaker, measure into either of the beakers. Then fill up the cup with four tablespoons of water and stir the mixture. Imagine you are playing ball outside one morning with your older sibling, when all of a sudden your ball bounces out of your hands and into the street. Use your second measuring cup to measure six tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide, then pour it all into the bottle. You know that it's dangerous to run into the street, so you just watch it roll away feeling sad that it's gone. But as you look up, you are met with a pleasant surprise. Your sibling is carefully looking both ways to get the ball back for you. Not only are you so relieved to have your ball back, but you are so grateful for the help. Later that day, you make a thank you card and even offer to help them with their chores. Next, squeeze a good deal of dish soap into the bottle. Squeeze and count to six. This should be more or less the right amount. Then add a squirt of burgundy food coloring to the mixture. Give the bottle a gentle shake so the ingredients mesh together. This mixture does look a lot like real grape juice or wine, doesn't it? Okay, are you ready for the action? Pour the yeast mixture into the bottle and watch what happens. Similar to how you would feel grateful to your sibling for her help with your ball, we feel tremendous thanks to Hashem for the great miracles He did for the Yidin. He took them out of Egypt, a place that was impossible to escape from, with 10 plagues. One reason for the four cups of wine at the Seder is to show our thanks to Hashem. Each cup represents another form of thanks. We can do this in our lives too. If someone does kindness for you, it is the right thing to show them gratitude. For example, if a sibling helps you with homework or shares their toys, you can find a way to show your thanks, whether by saying thank you, writing a thank you note, or giving them a small gift of appreciation. Enjoy your overflowing Kiddush bottle. Wishing you a kosher and freilich and Pesach, and we'll see you next week.